from code.visualstudio.com slash download, Windows users will get an EX, exe file downloaded. And once that's downloaded and you click that exe file, it should begin running your installer. You can agree to the um, statements here and click next. And you can choose, the, leave the defaults for the path name and leave the default here is fine. And I do like to, if you want to create an, a desktop icon, you can. These are all just kind of your preference of what you want to do. I do like to check these two here because when I'm in Windows Explorer, I can right click on a file or a folder and it will add a new little addition to the pop-up menu and let me open it in VS Code. Um, but they're not necessary. So those are just to your preference. And then you click next and install, and it will go ahead and install that. And then you'll get the last one and it will, if you this is checked, it will automatically open up Visual Studio code for you, which I'll leave mine checked. So if I finish that, it should open up Visual Studio Code, and you should see the Get Started, the Get Started um, tab.